Hello and welcome to another Yeldy Bathbeck Moonstone report. Very exciting today. Look at this, what I've got. This is mine now, I decided. It's not. Tom's here. Hi, Tom. <laughs> uh, we've just come back from, well, they just come back. It's in the evening, obviously, but we've been to Dicini today, which is good fun, demoing to new people. And now we're relaxing this evening by doing some more playtesting. Um, I apologize for the noise in the background, that's the boiler. Um, it should go off in a minute. But we're playtesting quite a few new characters. This one, quite a few when I've seen before as well, which is fun. Um, the cards for them will come up in a second, and I'll just introduce our troops quickly. So I've got probably the worst build to face what Tom's got, <laughs> but, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I've got Flintlock. This is not Gotchgut, it's Brunhilde, who's another giant. Kaufman, that is Fireflavius. Uh, this isn't whatever this Gilbert model's called, I can't remember his name. Uh, Dim and Dimmer? Mm -hmm. Dim and Dimmer. Double and I've got Headed Giant. Double Headed Giant. And I've got Natty the Slum Thief. Tom's got uh, Ribal the Troll. That is the Fire Spitter. That is the Goblin Airship. And then, what's he called? The pilot? Uh, Swooty Swooty. Swiggity Swooty, Shabaroon, and the Goblin Mortician. And the cards for those will come up in a moment. And I've told Tom he's going to have the first turn. Let's see if you can see this board again. It looks so amazing. And look, it's got a little plane. Not a plane, a little airship on it. So come back in turn one after a couple of activations. So Shabaroon went first, as he often does, and did Goblin Mischief. Gave everyone an extra energy. Then jogged around a little bit, tried to transcombobulate, but Tom didn't have a, any of the threes, so he decided not to play. Uh, I moved up Dim and Dimmer. He then moved up the Fire Spitter just a little bit, just ready for next turn. I dug up the Moonstone with Flintlock and moved him around, ready to shoot next turn. I was slightly stupid, and I put him in range to get shot at by the Goblin airship, which would, you know, pea shooter doesn't look that great to start with, but when you've got five energy and you can fire it five mm -hmm. times, it's not as fun. Because he gained one energy from Shabaroon, uh, who, um, and then one energy from two Goblins walking oh, yeah, into a tavern. Oh yeah, yeah, Fire Spitter did two Goblins walk into a tavern on um, on the airship. And he did it on Ribald as well, didn't yeah, he? So, so Ribald's now got an extra two energy as well, yeah. allowing would allow him to fire his cannon twice. If you're in range. If he was in range, which yep. would be quite frightening. It would. <laughs> okay. So first go firing as the yeah. defender. These are my cards. What are you calling? I have a two green. So I'll suffer one wound for that, mm -hmm. wouldn't I? Yeah, you can have that, that's fine. Okay. And shot number two. It's mine again. What are you playing? Green three. <laughs> uh, I'll let you have the green three this time. Okay. Anyway, this time. And shot number three from the little pea shooter <laughs> firing at me. He's from mine this time. Green two. Christ's sake, he probably has got a green two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this has a lot of damage. Uh, bluff. It's a green it two. It's a green two. And okay. A green one. Which will do no damage do at all. Damage. So yeah, so fine. You can you can't green one. <laughs> that won't do any damage. So I'll suffer one more wound. Yeah. Okay. And the fourth little was it? What's actually firing at the peas? It's actually peas. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the be. is called pea shooters. Yeah. So is he just firing little just peas? Firing peas. Yeah. Okay. Firing all right. Fast. 
And uh, next one. Green two. Uh, bluff. It's not a bluff. Yep. But you're lucky I haven't got any catastrophes. <laughs> um, but I do have two green twos. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Well, it didn't go off. That's fine. Really? And the final little pee pinging off was one of his heads. <laughs> green two. Uh, bluff. What's a green two? Oh, it's a green two. Not going again. Okay. I, I thought not because I know what I've got. <laughs> but okay. One more wound suffered. Not too bad. He's only suffered five wounds. So I'm not, not too worried about that. Okay, so now that there's a little pile of peas next to this guy, uh, Brunhilde just moved up. Can't do much else. And unfortunately, he's actually in range of Rybald. So Rybald did a little to his jog because he's slow. Two steps, and he's now firing his massive cannon, which you, you can't see, but he's, he's holding the cannon at Dimmer Dimmer, which is a bit scary. It's 4x minus 3 damage. Looking for greens. That's what I've got. Green 3. <laughs> uh, so that'll do 8 damage you're down to be down to 1 health but if I call a bluff and you have got a green 3 you'll just murder him I'm going to have to let you have it I think okay because I think you'll kill him if I don't <laughs> yeah. unless you're bluffing but well. but his, I'm guessing the catastrophe on that is pretty bad I probably have that back annoying. that's my cat annoyingly trying to lick a can. Yeah, um, he suffers three wounds. All models within two inches suffer three magical damage and I move one inch directly away. Okay. So three wounds to everyone in two inch proximity. So I do two, I do three magical damage to the fire special as well. Okay. All right, now I'll leave it. You can have it. You can have Ooh. it. So just finishing off turn one. Uh, I tried to heal. Uh, dim and Dimmer and didn't get the card and Tom called the bluff and uh, the catastrophe. He used to have two wounds as well as him not nabbing on one wound, which isn't overly fun. Um, everyone else has come, so these guys moved out. I think he's got he's got a he's swig, got a he's, now. swig, he's yeah. got a stone. These guys have all mine guys have all moved up. I then brought Kaufman up at last and he did shower of gold in the middle to kind of draw everyone into the middle a bit more. Just in the hope I get the turn and I can go and hit someone with this guy before he just dies. But We'll see what happens. This is what this is what it looks like at the moment. We've got a flip lock at the back. Right, we're now at turn two. There's been a couple of activations in turn two. So uh, the first part of turn two, Tom has got the uh, Crazy Town mm -hmm. agenda card, which means you flip an arcane card and then you can move a number of pieces of terrain. So you basically move that box there out of the way of there, so I've got no cover at all. And then in spite of the fact that I have plus two, I lost the dice roll. Tom went to use the fire spitter to try and finish off Dim and Dimmer, but I used hesitation so he couldn't do it. And then he's just retreated a little bit to safety. And basically I'm just trying to do something with Dim and Dimmer before he inevitably gets blasted or hit or something. So he's moved up and is trying to hit rivals at the moment. And these are mine. Oop. And there's one there too. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. And I've got the main difference. I've got two of them. Might be. Yeah. But, but, but do you have, do you basically, do you have any bonuses to your damage? Yes, I do. Yeah, so you'll kill me, whatever. I'll do plus two to impact. Yeah, so I'll do, I'll choose slicing, which gives me plus two. And it's critical, so I'll do another plus one as well. So mine will be one, one, two, three. No, one, one, two is four. It's four, five. Five damage I'll do. And then any minuses. Five. So... One, one. I get plus two for slicing, and then plus one if I do a critical hit. Cool, awesome. So I do five, five damage. And then minus one, because I've got ramshackle armor. It's four. So four damage, and you'll do enough to kill, yeah. take my one, my one cool. health off me, so he's dead. But that's fine. He got to do something before he died, so I'm, I'm okay with that. So he's had four wounds. So after Dim and Dimmer got bashed by Ribald. Uh, that's the last. Oh, her Shabroon's activating. It's his activation. He started by doing Goblin Mischief as normal. Got our find. They're all plus one energy. Now he's trying to transcombobulate Swiggity into this window right here. Because if you're elevated, you get plus two range to your. Is it all? Is it just all range stuff? All range stuff. All and range you stuff. ignore cover. And ignore cover. So he'd be quite good there. But he, we worked out he can cover both these two moons with his pistol. So you're looking for any three, isn't any it? Any three. And I've got a blue three. You probably have got a blue three. <laughs> uh, that's fine. You can have that. I'm not, I'm not, that's fine. I didn't. <laughs> so 
So, sorry, so coming back after Swiggity is now up here in the window. Uh, Natty dug up that moonstone and she's shuffling over here. And now Reinbold's taking a, well, I'll say a pot shot. It's <laughs> <laughs> the wrong word. Find his massive cannon at Brunhilde. He's looking for green. That's what I've got. And I've got a green one. That'll do one damage. One damage. One damage. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Next up was Kaufman. He's moved all the way up to the front and he stuck a bag of gold over there, which means that none of these goblins can move anywhere other than directly towards that. What a dick. Because that's just hilarious, really. He's not counting a moonstone, so he can afford to kind of do that. So all these guys are kind of stuck until one of them walks onto that. Quite fun. And now he's doing revenge by pea shooting get my giant. What are you calling? Green three. Green three. Bluff. It is a green three. It's a green three. I'm not going again. Yeah, I know you're not. What <laughs> <laughs> cards I've got. All right. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. They've got quite a lot of damage off <laughs> Next, next P2, P2 to attack is a green two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can have that. Uh, P2 number three. I have a green two. You probably do. Yeah, that's fine. It's the final P being fired. Can he get the last two wounds off? It is a P green three. I've got to call a bluff because I've got no choice. Yeah. No. Okay. You not play it again? Game. No, I know you're not. Because <laughs> so, okay, I know what I've got. Yeah, I had to call it, didn't I? No choice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, oh God, the pea shooters. When I first looked at that goblin airship, I thought, oh, the pea shooters are a bit rubbish. But it's like you can fight so many times. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right. Brunhild's dead. So I think you choose where the boots don't go, don't you? Because you killed her. Yeah. Yep, yeah. all right. So in an effort to get some kind of revenge, flint knock. Taking oh, that's a great view. <laughs> He's taking a pop shot at the uh, airship. I'm looking for greens. This is what I've got. Green three. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And look, uh, it was a green three. Just thought I'd show that. <laughs> Yay! Five damage to the airship. Oh god. So coming in the end of turn three now. Um, Shabaroon didn't do anything. He'd already been the one looking at him for. Mortician healed two wounds. Two wounds? Two. From mm. the airship and then moved over. His aim is now to stand on that bag of gold and get rid of it. Um, Friar moved up, grabbed that one moonstone, then had enough to do two steps back. He's now standing on that one. Um, and this is what the board looks like. It's not happened like we expected. We were just saying that we expected most of these guys to be dead by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they aren't. So it's looking pretty good for the humans. It's now. looking fairly good. It's looking pretty good for the humans, especially with that bag of gold there, which is very mm -hmm. irritating for you. Because it means you've either got to activate the mortician first mm -hmm. and sit in there with him, take another shot at this guy. Or if you do do that first, I can take another one over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's all, yeah, it's looking interesting. It's not it's not a foregone conclusion for either of them, though, because we're only on turn three. Yeah. So um, Flintlock's obviously back here still. He's pretty safe. Um, so that's what happens. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's happened now. Um, Natty has just legged it over here. Uh, Shabaroon, I think this is actually before that, did Goblin Mischief, obviously, gave everyone the plus one energy, and then tried to transcombobulate Swiggity, but didn't get the cards, so he's stuck there. And then, I don't know what else has happened. He moved back a little bit, probably. Mm -hmm. um, Goblin Mortician ran over that bag of gold to get out of the way. And now is doing rigor mortis on Kaufman, which will do. It will take all of his energy and do one wound, and it's on any two. Okay. And I have a pink two. I've kind of got to call a bluff because it's only one more damage, isn't it? Bluff. I think I just did a really stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting card to have chosen. <laughs> I did have a catastrophe anyway, so okay, I could have well, played it. That's these are my cards. So what, what what is the catastrophe? Four wounds. Four wounds. That's quite funny. I had, um, I had nothing to lose. No, not really. Didn't to be fair. Didn't because yeah, even if you played even if you played something else, I had two catastrophes, so you would have yeah. it whatever. Okay, he suffers four wounds. How the tables have turned. They have turned. So after that, <clears throat> Kaufman planted another bag of gold here and moved back a little bit. And then the fire spitter ran over the bag of gold to get rid of it, and it's now taking a shot. It's just about in range, which is a bit annoying. 
If he's looking for blues, it's not uh, great for him. I have a blue too. So I'll do four damage, won't it? Will. Uh, I kind of got to let you have it, really. Okay. Because as he can he fire again? He can. He can fire again. Well, I've still got to let you have it, really. I haven't got a choice. Okay. So because the fire spitter gained one energy from Chaburud, you can fire again at Kaufman. He's got no energy to step away. That's what I've got. So I need a blue three. Only a blue three will do. Blue three. Bluff. Boom. You got it, yeah. <laughs> well, there's no reason for me not to call it because no. you couldn't argue to anyone else. Yeah. Uh, so Kaufman's dead. Uh, but I'm still fairly confident that I can win this. But we'll see what happens. So again, to enact some revenge, Flintlock's taking another shot. At the airship, I'm looking for. Well, I need a green two mm -hmm. to finish you off. Only a green two. Well, green three would do it. Green two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I don't think I'm in range of anyone else to, to do it again. I'll check if I am, but. Probably, possibly. Let's, let's pop the airship. That's good. Okay, Tom's only real chance here is to try and pop this guy and see what can happen after that. So he's going to drive old. Doing a fire massive cannon at him. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs a green three, I think. It'd have to be a green three to kill him. Yep. Uh, green two. So that'll do five damage. Yeah, that'll take him down to almost none, but not none. Because he's always suffered two wounds. Um, but I'm going to have to give you that, I think. Mm -hmm. Because he still survives, and you might have a green one in there. Cool. I'm going to concede at that point. Okay. I don't think I can... No, because he's survived now. Right so away. the best thing you can do next turn is kill him. But yeah. you can't kill her as well. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to leg it all the way over here. And he's already safe. Um, so even if you kill him, I don't think you can get this Moonstone. You definitely can't get that one. Mm -hmm. You thought there might be a way of getting this one? But I don't think... Because he's only got three energy, isn't he? He could... Do Goblin Luck to give him plus one energy. Then Is he in range? Six inch range, that's the thing. Yeah, no, that, that's pretty much eight inches, I think. Then, yeah, probably. No, it's within six. Okay. You measure vertically, which yeah. will horizontally, which will obviously. So you could put one energy on uh, him and then transcombobulate him there to dig it up. Mm. So then I'd have two Moonstones. So I'd have to kill him. But even if you and if you killed it'd him, <laughs> it'd be a draw. So then all I've got to do is dig up one moonstone, which I'm sat right next to. Yeah. So I <laughs> and immediately win the game. Yeah. So I'd, in there is a chance you could do it, but I think it's fairly slim, and it's half oh, past eleven at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm surprised. So anyway, what we're going to do is rather than doing a full um, what, what summary and thoughts on the game, we're going to do that as a podcast. So that will be episode nine. So this battle of what will go up first, and I'll put the podcast up as soon as I can afterwards. So check out that podcast for battle review. Thanks a lot for coming, Tom. Thank you. And Thanks for bringing for this like amazing looking board and everything. It's been awesome. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out the Facebook page and the Patreon page, obviously, as normal. And please like and subscribe for more Moonstone content. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.